टॉपिक ऑफ दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डीएनए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मस्ट लर्न बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक सो वी विल स्टार्ट दिस प्रेजेंटेशन विद न्यूक्लियोटाइड एज दीज आर यूनिट्स और बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ न्यूक्लिक एसिड आर एन ए एंड डीएनए आर न्यूक्लियोटाइड कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री कंपोनेंट्स नाइट्रोजिनस बेस फॉस्फेट ग्रुप एंड पेंटोज शुगर as shown in the flow chart here there are two types of pentose sugars ribose and deoxyribose ribose sugar is present in rna whereas deoxyribose sugar is present in dna as shown in the diagram a pentose sugar is a five carbon ring and these carbons are named as one prime carbon two prime carbon likewise five prime carbon if you know this structure this structure is clear to you then you will be able to understand when we say three prime position or five prime position of dna strand in the discussion ahead one more important point compare the structure of ribose sugar and deoxyribose sugar so we find hydroxyl group at two prime position in ribose sugar whereas hydrogen group at two prime position in deoxyribose sugar now this presence of hydroxyl group at two prime position in ribose sugar makes it more reactive than deoxyribose sugar therefore rna is more reactive than dna as we already know now the nitrogenous bases so two types of nitrogenous bases pyrimidines and purines exist and here we have shown the structure skeleton of these nitrogenous bases purine is the heterocyclic ring of nine atoms of carbon and nitrogen whereas skeleton of pyrimidine is a heterocyclic ring of six carbon and nitrogen some modifications occur in these rings to form various types of bases as shown here two types of purines adenine and guanine and three types of pyrimidines thymine cytosine and nitrogen uracil are seen in these nucleic acids with the help of these diagrams we will understand difference between nucleoside and nucleotide see this diagram of nucleoside here a nitrogenous base is attached at one prime position of a pentose sugar with the help of n glycosidic bond so when nitrogenous base is attached to pentose sugar then this combination is called a nucleoside and when a phosphate group joins this nucleoside then a nucleotide is formed now see this structure so here this is the pentose sugar and at one prime position a nitrogenous base is attached through n glycosidic bond and at five prime position a phosphate group is attached through ester bond so this is the structure of nucleotide and combination of pentose sugar and nitrogenous base is the nucleoside so this is the difference between these two units we will now understand formation of phosphodiester bond between two nucleotides with the help of this diagram now see the alignment of first nucleotide this is the five prime position of first nucleotide with phosphate group and this is the three prime position with hydroxyl group and the second nucleotide is also aligned in the similar way this is the five prime position with phosphate group and this is the three prime position with hydroxyl group now hydroxyl group of three prime position of nucleotide first will react with oh group of phosphate at five prime position of nucleotide second as a result a molecule of water will be eliminated and phosphodiester bond will be formed between three prime position of nucleotide first and five prime position of nucleotide second so in this way we have shown you the formation of dinucleotide chain and uh, this is the five prime position of dinucleotide chain and this is the three prime position of the dinucleotide chain so we can say that this dinucleotide chain is running from five prime to three prime direction 
so if our basics are clear like this then it will help you understand and retain the structure of dna very well with the help of this diagram we will now understand the structure of a polynucleotide chain in detail so here we have shown this polynucleotide chain and this is its 5 prime end with phosphate group and this is the 3 prime end of this polynucleotide chain these are the phosphodiester bonds between the nucleotides in this polynucleotide chain and a nitrogenous base is attached to each nucleotide and these nitrogenous bases are protruding into the right side of this polynucleotide chain and in this polynucleotide chain this is the 5 prime end and this is the 3 prime end so we can say that this polynucleotide chain is running from 5 prime to 3 prime direction so after understanding this structure of polynucleotide it will be very easy to understand the concept of anti parallel orientation of dna strands in a dna duplex one more thing we want to tell to our students that in this polynucleotide chain this pentose sugar and phosphate group these two together make the backbone of this polynucleotide chain and nitrogenous bases remain free to form hydrogen bonds with the nitrogenous bases of the other strand of dna to make the double stranded structure in a dna duplex we will now understand making of double stranded dna and its further coiling now two strands align themselves in such a way their bases lie opposite to each other and strands also follow anti parallel orientation here meaning of being anti parallel is that if one strand is running from 5 prime to 3 prime uh, direction then the other strand runs from 3 prime to 5 prime direction and uh, this uh, bases also follow complementarity rule which means that adenine always pairs up with thymine with the help of two hydrogen bond and cytosine pairs up with guanine with the help of three hydrogen bonds in this way following these rules a duplex or double stranded dna is made now we will compare this uh, double stranded dna with a rope ladder visualize that you are holding a small rope ladder in your hands and uh, twisting it clockwise or anti clockwise then if uh, ladder remains straight during twisting then it will result in symmetrical coil with equal sized grooves in its sides but uh, if the rope ladder gets tilted a bit during twisting then it will result in an asymmetrical coiling with grooves of unequal size in its sides likewise dna duplex gets tilted in the same way during coiling due to which we observe major and minor grooves in its structure finally we will now understand structure of dna with the help of this diagram here major and minor grooves are shown in the uh, diagram and we have already told the uh, how these grooves are formed during coiling and see this uh, anti parallel orientation of strands one strand is running from 5 prime to 3 prime while the other strand is running from 3 prime to 5 prime direction thickness of this duplex is 2 nanometer and here one complete turn of dna uh, strand is shown and uh, uh, with one major and one minor group length of one complete turn is 3.4 nanometer and there are 10 base pairs in one turn 10 base pairs are not shown in this diagram so please don't count the base pairs in this one turn now by calculation we find that there is a distance of 0.34 nanometer between two base pairs so this is the structure of dna and we hope you have understood it very well please check your understanding by answering these questions